We're interesting because my personal, okay, so, so this is sort of an interesting case. I mean, my personal ideology is looked very inconsistent with the things that I was doing in science, even to me. I mean, that is, it seemed like I was successfully deconstructing everything and making it, sort of taking it to the point where everything that exists is kind of ground down into these computational elements that have no soul, so to speak, that have no kind of humanity to them. Right, bare bones. Yeah, right. But, but my personal ideology, you know, I like people. I, you know, run a company. I've been running a company for it's 36 years, whatever it is, you know, it involves people. I find people interesting. Mm. How is this consistent with a, a scientific? And, and for years, I didn't really realize. And actually, I, I, I was kind of clued in. I, I got to figure this out when somebody asked me in some some interview. You know, how can these two things be consistent? You know, somebody who actually knew me fairly well, who was interviewing me and like was saying, you know, I know that you are a sort of people-oriented person. How is this consistent with what you do in science? That you've ground it down into this kind of, uh, you know. These, and, and I then realized, actually, actually, surprisingly, sort of by a circuitous route, the science actually uh, turns out to very much sort of uh, fulfill, uh, in a sense, you know, even though that, and this is one of the challenges in doing science, is to do it independent of one's own ideology about what should happen. And this is something I think people sometimes, uh, and it gets even worse when there's sort of a whole political angle to the thing that comes in, but it's like, can you just do the science and figure out how, where the chips fall without, and you know, I think somehow it's an important thing to have the confidence to be able to do that and to say, you know, the chips may fall in the way that I think I ideologically want them to fall, or they may not. I'm just, you know, going to do what I do. And I'm more interested in sort of having the science be coherent than I am in the fact that I happen to have sort of... Uh, realized some some particular personal ideological goal but i think I, you know i I'm, I'm a little disappointed and i've seen that a bunch in the in you know the time of the pandemic and other such things that there's a certain tendency to um uh, to sort of fall into these things where where you know the science is in service of the ideology so to speak rather than you just do the science and you see where the chips fall and um uh you kind of might hope that it doesn't completely blow up your ideology but you know it depends what you're it depends what you're in it for so to speak right. but, but um, I've always found I think one of the one of the bigger achievements if you're doing science is to discover things that you didn't think were there and that maybe at first you even don't think could possibly be true and that maybe disagree with things that you sort of ideologically or or sort of uh, you know in, in your intuition about science thought were the case.